Premier is here. Premier Heating and Air service calls are now only $69. Your first pound of Freon is free. And if you need a new replacement system, Premier Heating and Air is now offering 60 months financing at 0% on all new AC systems. Premier also offers great second chance financing. Log on to Dublin.PremierIsHere.com and let's get things cooled down today. Premier Heating and Air, a locally owned and operated company. With approved credit, offer expires 831 2024. Welcome to the 2024 uh, West Arms Foot High School Football Coaches Show. I'm Tyler Rogers here with Coach Kip Burdett. Um, Coach, how you doing today? Doing good. Good to be here. Yes, sir. Uh, Coach, we talked a little bit last week about the build up to the East Lawrence game. Uh, you know, or say the game, it was a scrimmage, but it was pretty much like a game. We know we played four quarters. The starters pretty much played the entire game. Um, man, it really lived up to the hype. Uh, atmosphere was really amazing. Both fan bases, the community showed out uh, in great numbers, and the game really matched the atmosphere. Uh, kind of give us your takeaways from the game um, and some guys that you really thought stood out, position groups that stood out to you. Um, I think it was a it was a pretty cool atmosphere, like you said. You know, I think it was uh, standing room only on on our side, so that, that's pretty cool. So that's that's also going to be a shot in the arm for for the East Lawrence athletic program as far as gate receipts go, uh, which is a, which is a good thing. You know, you want to fill the stadiums up. Uh, really big deal. I, I kind of you know regret that we didn't get some young kids in. I wish we could have. Uh, you know, that was the intent of the scrimmage is the fourth quarter, but, you know, it just didn't work out like that. And, uh, you know, we played a lot. We played, played a full game and the special team. So there were a lot of glaring uh, mistakes. I think, uh, you know, special teams in, in general, first time being live was kind of sloppy. It's really hard to replicate that in practice until you do it a couple of times in, in real life. So a lot of it was sloppy, but I think, you know, we can get it on film and get it corrected. So it's probably good in the long, in the long term, not good for – for now, uh, another good thing is we played four quarters of football. That's right. So you know you're getting in some game shape before you actually play a play a week one game. So uh, that that was a positive takeaway. And I think you know, uh, like I told the team afterwards, if it's been you know we've we've had some some hard conversations after after some losses the last couple of years. It's nice whether it be a, a moral victory or a scrimmage victory or whatever you want to call it. It was a victory nonetheless, and and we can we can say that we. You know, we won. We played ugly, and we won. So uh, it's a lot, a lot more pleasant to fix fix problems after wins than it is after losses. So uh, excited to be able to do that. But oh, a position group that I, I would probably say I, I'm most uh, pleased with or their progress is the defensive line. I think the defensive line probably, uh, you know, and a lot of those guys were really, really young last year, but uh, they have drastically improved from from a year ago. I think we're we're pretty deep at that position. We can roll some right. some guys in. Uh, we had, you know, Evan Williams was a big pickup that he played a lot the other night on, on the defensive front. Uh, you know, Ethan Case and Guyton, uh, J Jalen Williams had, had some good hurries on the on the on the front. Keith Walker being back from injury last year had, had some had, has a good showing right there. And uh, you know, just there's just a lot of body. I can name ten or twelve of them that 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 I think will help us. Max Chapin, freshman, got in, did some stuff. Uh, you know. Uh, but but I'm just really pleased with that group. I'm, I'm probably missing missing a couple. We'll, we'll show it on the film. But uh, that group played pretty well defensively. At times, I thought we, you know, we played decent. Uh, offensively, we were, you know sporadic in spurts. I think consistently, uh, our offensive line probably didn't play as well this week as they did the previous week. Uh, but but it was it was you know I think I think we'll improve there. I think we'll get some things corrected. But um, you know it's just. It was an ugly game, sloppy game for, for a lot of it, and, and I think you can attribute a lot of that to the way we practiced last week. You know, it, wasn't a, it was not a great week, and you know you can blame it on the circumstances or whatever. You know, uh, Monday we, we had a very limited uh, day because of the the storms that started coming in from the hurricane. Tuesday, you know, was supposed to be the first day of school. It was going to be like a Tuesday practice for us, and we didn't get that in at all. Couldn't have any activities, and then uh, Wednesday. You know, it was our first day of school, and it was it was pretty warm out there, and we kind of slopped around. It just didn't wasn't a very sharp day, wasn't a very efficient day, 
And then uh, Thursday, you know, kind of just a little more prep work for the game, and it's not really, you know, live practice. So, you know, a sloppy practice week led to a sloppy performance, got, got kind of off to a kind of slow start on defense and uh, just didn't sustain on offense. So sloppy kicking game, and they just I attribute that to a, a bad week of practice. But, you know, we got two weeks before – before we play Groves, so hopefully we'll get a lot of that stuff corrected and, and learn how to practice. Yeah, and I'll say, man, you know, never coached football for a little while too. The first week, the first day of school is always when you have practice. It's always the worst practice. It I mean, is. There's so much stuff going on, and their minds are never where it's supposed to be. And then you add in the weather; it, it does not yeah. do you really any favors either. Well, that you know, when we didn't play so early, there's been times like in. When I was at different schools, where like the first day of school was like picture day or yeah, something like don't, that, like, don't even practice. Sometimes don't even practice. It's, yeah, that's right. So it's, it is a lot of distractions, a lot of stuff going on. Their brains are all over the place. You got we have forty freshmen. That was their first day of high school, and they they're trying to figure out where to go and what to do. But it, it is it is a little tough. But you got to you got to fight through it. I think that, that I think the coaching staff understands that what, what's going on. But at the same time, you like Chris practices. But yeah, absolutely. You know, obviously. And too, you know, we get gotta give credit to East some too. I mean, they came out and played. Oh yeah, you know, I was really Im impressed with them. And, and Snake uh, kids, a sneaky yeah. kids a player, man. Good football player. Yeah, yes, yeah. so he can play both sides of the ball. So they were, uh, they were good. You know, like kind of like you said with the with the defensive line. You know, uh, and Coach Jordan's did a really good job taking those guys. And um, you know, even your know, linebackers, just a couple of times, Kellum. You know, I think he almost had a pick one time. Maybe I think it was late, maybe second second half or something like that. I mean, they had some good breaks. Uh, for the most part, I mean, corners were in a good spot. I mean. Defense did look like it did a pretty good job for the most part in offense. Uh, you know, it sputtered some, but, you know, Ty Cummins does what Ty Cummins yeah. does, and he makes plays. And I think Tyler Williams had a touchdown, too. He had a, so, like a 30 yard, 30 yeah. yard touchdown run. So, I mean, it gives you, gives you some glimpses of uh, some, yeah. some positives. Other than the, uh, you know, the two the two big explosives to start the game off with for, on defense. It's like the first, right. the first two times they touched the ball, they scored. And they didn't score again the rest of the night, so that you know, that's a right. testament to the defense. But uh, like you said, John Tavis Kellum probably we got him playing the dog position, and right. for us it's a pretty important position. But I feel like it suits his skill set pretty well. Mm -hmm. Probably probably the most productive night that he's had in his four years of high school yep. football, which I'm really proud for him. He's I mean he's he's an awesome kid. I mean he really he's really paid his dues. I mean he you don't hear a lot from him. He doesn't talk a whole lot, and he works hard in the weight room, and he's he's a good practice kid. Yep. So. You know, it's good to, to see things paying off for him. Yep. Yeah, I said, I mean, there's a lot of things obviously we get to work on. Um, you see any good things, you got two weeks to pretty much get that done. Um, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, Coach Burdett's got some, uh, some highlights for us. Jacob Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. If you're in the market for affordable transportation, come into Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales today. Getting to work, school, or around town every day requires dependable transportation. And that's what you'll find at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales. We offer bank rate and in-house financing, so credit is never a problem. Come in today and see TJ, Trey, Allen, or Britt at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, online at DublinAutoSalesGA.com. Come by and see us at 606 East Jackson Street in Dublin or give us a call at 478-275-2010. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson and we've been baking here at Williamson's Bakery since 1927. In 1965, my grandfather, Merle Williamson, hung our name on this bakery. Ever since then, people have been stopping in for the Williamson's tradition. We invite you to do the same here at 1634 Veterans Boulevard or catch us on Facebook or just come get you some. Hey, my name's Chandler Gerard. I'm Kyle Gerard with A-plus flooring and construction. And here at A-plus flooring and construction, we believe in teamwork. Come let our team service you with floor and construction and garage doors. 
So come shop with us at A Plus Flooring and Construction at 371 Georgia Highway 338 or visit our website at aplusconstruction.biz. Or give us a call at 478-676-2662. Thank you. Uh, welcome back. Uh, Coach Burdett's got some highlights for us that we're going to take a look at, and Coach, the floor is yours. All right. Uh, so we, we received the opening kickoff, and I thought one of, one of our special teams that looked pretty good was our kickoff return. I uh, feel like we got two guys, three or four guys really back there in, on the return team that can, that can get it out there. It's Tyler Williams with a big return, almost like a 40-yard return right here. So, so he's, had, he's had a pretty good preseason. I, I, I would say he had, a, he had a good run later on in the game, and it's a pretty good return right here. So we set up our offense to uh, midfield. So it's always good when you start close to midfield. All right, we got Brandon Brooks on the carry right here. Uh, makes a little happen on his own right here. Blocking's not great up front, but that's a good little stick and in, in, in getting what he can get right there on the uh, inside zone, running a little split zone right here. I know the split zone right here on the first down. Same, very similar run to the one before. Uh, I'd like to see him keep his feet moving right there, but uh, it's a good, tough run. Ty, Ty ran. Ty's a physical runner. You know, he's a small guy, but he, he's really strong. Uh, and fights for some yardage right there, the four or five yarder on first down. And we got it. Got Ty quarterback right here with the counter play, and like like Coach Rogers says, Ty does what what Ty does. It bounces on him right there, and he gets out there in the in the alley and runs. Back on offense, and I put this on there. It got called out of bounds, but clear, clearly inbounds, and it, you know you can see it a little bit on the on the end zone side right here, but. Uh, Javon and I, I saw I had a pretty good advantage, and, and I'm not you know it's a, it's a judgment call you can't really see it right there but uh, you can on the t on the TV 35 angle he he was definitely in bounds. All right, tackle for loss right here, Shannon Atkins first contact. We like to see him make that play, but we get him on the ground. Uh, no gain right here. Got people running to the ball, playing pretty good team defense. It's Evan Williams with a tackle for loss right here. Soren Willis and uh, Ethan Case and Guyton both, both meeting in the backfield as well. Pretty physical play right here by Shannon Atkins. Uh, fitting this thing. And then John Tavis Kellum on the front end of it. I uh, think that, you know, they got into the plus territory down there a, a, a few times and only punched it in twice. And one of them was from, from their own side of the field. So I'm really, really pleased with our red zone defense and our, our you know, fringe defense. And uh, we capitalize on an errant snap, but you got you got a lot of Raiders in hot pursuit of the quarterback and force an errant throw. And I would like to see us get our hands on that. And there were several several like that. I think it's Javon Hill with the pass breakup. Good good coverage right here. We force another. Uh, I've got another hurry. That's Jalen Williams, a senior defensive end on the uh, on the hurry. But we got pressure. We're getting pressure with three three rushers, and that's a big thing. Uh, it's Max Chafin, a freshman playing, playing nose guard right there that's getting, getting pressure on the quarterback as well. You see, it's just like, you know, it just complements each other. When you got a good rush, your coverage doesn't have to be as good. And when you have good coverage, your rush gets home. So they kind of go hand in hand.
Evan Williams with another play right there. Oh, that's Max right there, isn't it? I thought I saw Evan come through. Good job, freshman, freshman nose guard right there, Max Chafin. Another errant snap, and uh, you know, uh, it's John Tavis Kellum with the recovery. We capitalize on that, and that's part of part of uh, you know one of the things we talked about is sometimes you gotta you gotta learn how to not lose before you can win, and capitalizing on other people's mistakes a big part of that. You let them make the mistakes, and, and we we couldn't quite do that the other night. We we were making mistakes, even though they were making mistakes. So it's just it comes down to who makes the fewest mistakes and who can execute better. And uh, for us to be able to get on one of these balls and be, be plus two in the turnover margin, well, plus one in the turnover margin was pretty big. Good run right here by Brandon Brooks. Tough run by our big guy, Shannon Atkins, right there. Getting us the first down. It's the RPO. They uh, reading our linebacker right there. We defend the run part of it pretty good and get John Tavis Kellum right there in the flats with his, uh, gets his hands on it. I'd like to see him, you know, He's in a good spot because they got to throw it over the top of him, uh, you know, get his hands on one and get his name in the, in the Courier Herald. Similar play. They run the run part of it. We fit it up really good on the front side. Zorian Willis, Ethan Case and Guyton with the tackle for loss. Also, uh, Jaden Watkins in on the play as well. Not sure what they had going on right here. It kind of looks like a screen, but, uh, you know, Jalen Williams, and he missed the play, but he, he disrupts the whole thing and, and forces him out of the pocket. And, and our secondary, you know, our secondary defenders are are in position where he can't really bust loose on us, so it's just sound defense. Get the ball back on a short field, and it's a really physical, physical run. Probably our our best ball man against their best ball man right there, and Ty just keeps his feet moving, gets in the end zone. That's a tough run. And Ty, I mean, I don't know if people realize this, Ty's about a 275 pound power cleaner. Uh, really strong in the weight room, big squatter. I want to say a 425 or 440 squat. It's John Tavis Kellum again with another break on the ball. Might have seen him catch that one. Pass rush, we get him on the dirt this time. It's Hunter Castle, I think, that ends up getting the uh, getting credit for the sack right here. But it's uh, you got three defensive linemen, Evan, Evan Williams, and Keith Walker right here. Who's, Keith's a big boy, but he's getting a lot of pressure from the nose position right there. I told him he looked like Warren Sapp right there. Then uh, we uh, we get the ball back on a short field, and this is a 30, 31 yard run by Tyler Williams, touchdown run, and he bounces it right here, and it's a really good read on his part, and then he's got a little bit of speed. He finishes that run off. I put this on there. I feel like it was a, a clean play with uh, Jace. 
uh, Blash right here playing safety. Uh, not in great position, but he plays through the ball like he's taught to do. I don't think he's early. Uh, we got a pass interference call right there. Toss right here. Uh, John Tavis Kellen playing real physical on the block right here. And then uh, Javon Hill coming from the corner position. Uh, just like to see him run through that knee as opposed to, as opposed to kind of stopping and, and dropping his head, you know, keep his feet. But pretty well defended on the front end right there on the toss. Another, another good drop uh, by John Tavis Kellum, forces an errant throw. Uh, and this pretty, pretty well thrown ball, a testament to that quarterback right there. That's, that's from the, the right hash all the way to the opposite sideline. So well placed, but uh, you know, our defenders are in place where, where uh, I mean, there ain't nowhere to go with that ball but out of bounds. So. Let me get them on a long, long yardage situation. We're only rushing three. And we get home, let him get the ball out. But that's a, uh, I think that's uh, Jordan Hall right there. You got Jamari Trussell at nose guard with the, uh, you know, the hurry as well. Ethan Case Guyton down here. So those three guys, you know, just just being, you know, and that's one thing that Jamari Trussell is going to do. He's going to go wide open. Draws a holding call right there. Pretty good team defense. We fit that run pretty good. Keith Walker up front just driving their center back in the backfield. It's nice to have him back, you know, just to have a little little beef up front. Uh, so I'd like to see him separate with his hands, but like he 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 just he draws a lot of double teams and that sort of thing because of his size. And uh, you would like to credit our noses for for causing the center problems as well. Pretty well defended uh, sweep into the bunch right here. Uh, actually looks like it's gonna be a, a power read. No, it doesn't, it's a sweep. Uh, but John Tavis Kellum on the tackle on the front end right here. You know, we, we track production on our grades and, uh, and I said it earlier, but, but John Tavis Kellum had more production at the dog position than he ever had before at any other position he's ever played. So I feel like we got him in the right spot. Ethan Case and Guyton on the sack. He had a big night the other night. He plays so hard, uh, just really strong. Uh, you know, probably one of them pound for pound is probably the strongest player on our team. And uh, he's, he's, got, he's got a little bit of ability, find a little more consistency out of him, but he made some things happen the other night. All right, fourth down play, we end up defending it right there, Javon Hill and uh, Zorian Willis. Shannon running the counter right here and just dragging people, and this is what he's got to do. We got on to Shannon early in the game because we had a, a second and short, the second and short, third and short, I can't remember, but we ran a split zone and he tried to bounce it. We told him he's not allowed to bounce anything anymore. He's only, he's only allowed to make one cut, that's a vertical cut. Another well-defended play on the back end. All right, we force, we force him out of the pocket and then he's got to get rid of it. Well-defended uh, ball by, by Jace Blash right here. I just assumed it was going to be a pass interference. I asked one of the assistant coaches if it was going to be a, just what was the penalty, who's it, who's it on. But got away with uh, – we defended a pass without it, without it being a pass interference. Sprinting out right here. Do a good job of uh, containing it. And that's John Tavis Kellum again on the, on the pass defense. Shannon Atkins and, and Zorian Willis and Jace Blash converging on this ball right here. Doing what they're coached to do. 
Big stop. I think this is a third third down play. Ty converts right here on a speed sweep, which is not, not what you typically call on third down, but it, we're down here in our own territory. It's pretty safe, safe call. And, and then if you can, you know, just get some get some yards and punt, that would have been a victory right there, but we ended up converting the first down. So, uh, Soren Willis with the pass breakup right here. I'd like to see him get his handles, but he's very close. But, he, you know, doing what he's coached to do. Uh, we got everything covered up. One-on-one -on -one ball right there with the tight end. This is a really big play, but this is a player that, that we feel like has probably got the best ball skills on our team and has got a chance to be a really special defensive back. And uh, he, he goes up top and makes, makes a big play right there. So uh, he's one that I think has got the ability to make some plays on the back end. And so I'm really excited about seeing what he can do the rest of the year in multiple positions, but just going and getting balls and, uh, you know, creating turnovers on the back end right there. Put this on there because this is the most beautiful play in football right here. Snapping it, taking a knee, going to shaking hands. All right, that's all we got. I right, wouldn't take another quick uh, commercial break. We'll be right back. Strickland Boots in downtown Dublin is locally owned and operated by Rodney and Martha Strickland. And where you're always greeted with a friendly smile. You'll find quality boots for safety, work, hunting, casual, or western. Choose from names like Rocky, Lacrosse, Danner, Georgia, Durango, Ariat, Double H, Wolverine, Twisted X, Thoroughgood, Dan Post, Laredo Cat, Carhartt, and more. You'll find boots for the whole family, from the little ones on up. You're always greeted like family and get fast, friendly service. Strickland sizes all new customers and tracks sales, so future purchases can be as fast as simple as a phone call and pickup. Strickland is where customer service really counts, and you feel like family when you leave. So stop by Strickland Boots today and see why Strickland Boots has been family owned and operated for over 50 years. Strickland Boots, 102 East Jackson Street in downtown Dublin. I'm Brian Baysmore, President and CEO of Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We would like to invite you to come by and experience a welcoming banking environment. Come by today and have a cup of coffee and let us talk with you about our many products, savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, and our many loans. You're more than just a number to us, you're family. Come by today, Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Tom Dominey. Here at Dublin Wynn Nelson, we pride ourselves on providing the industry's highest quality products at the most competitive pricing. We are a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry, and we can answer your questions and help you get the parts and equipment you need. From Owen to Renai, we carry the plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products you need from the brands you trust. We also carry a great lineup of Milwaukee tools. At Dublin with Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. If you have a question, or if you're looking for a hard to find part, give us a call. Our experts are ready to help. Order online, give us a call, or come by at 507 Airport Road in Dublin. We're committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. It's time to get in those plots. Five-way deer mix, three-way econo, 4S harvest advantage, oats, rye, rape, peas and beans, and clover. Don't forget to pick up your spreader and some fertilizer when you head out the door. Need a new feeder? Roach Farm and Garden carries boss, buck, and moultrie, spin, and gravity. Even got them that hold 600 pounds. That's a lot of feed. Speaking of feed, Roach Farm and Garden carries 4S draw, FRM, wild game innovation, and even antler extreme. Hold kernel corn, corn on the cob, pick up your salt blocks, and even have trophy blocks. Don't forget, Roach Farm and Garden carries trapping supplies so you can take control of your property. It's right next to the 4S draw. You need something to cook your game? Roach Farm and Garden has grills, griddles, fryers, and smokers. 
Road Farm and Garden carries a full line of patio furniture, flags, wind chimes, and bird feeders. Don't leave out of here with some holy boots and shoes. We got a full line of Carhartt and Georgia boots. Bring the whole family, because there's something for everyone at Roach Farm and Garden. Two locations, Dublin and Wrightsville. It's football season, and just like your favorite team, Dublin Chevy GMC Nissan's success is built on our teamwork. Here, Mr. Jones, here's your tune-up parts, thank you. Chevy or GMC, we've got your trucks. I might not have been a great ball player back in the day, but one thing about it, Don sells cars pretty good here at Dublin Chevy GMC Nissan. Hi, uh, welcome back. Uh, Coach, we kind of spoke last week about having the opportunity to play in two scrimmage games, uh, you know, which kind of gives you an opportunity to, to play uh, more, uh, you know, more games before most teams do before you get to the regular season. Uh, but right now, you know, we're kind of sitting into a bye week when most teams are getting to play this week. Uh, so what advantages do you think that kind of gives us going into the first regular season game, kicking off a week later than everybody else? Um, well, you know, the way the Georgia High School does it, you get 12 weeks basically to get 10 games. So this is kind of like a – I, I treat it as week zero, you know, like right. back in the old days, like the – or as, as quick as last year. But, like, you had a week zero game that you could play if you needed to, but most most everybody waited till week one. So that's what kind of how I feel about it. We just have one off week during the season. But, um, you know, kind of kind of times up pretty, pretty well, you know. Uh, one thing that – you know, I think it's a challenge – and I, I think every every high school football coach in America will agree with this. Sometimes your players view it as kind of like a a you know they're not as focused or it's not as crisp as you'd like it to be because they don't have anything that they're waiting on them at the end of the, the week. So uh, that can be a challenge sometimes. So, but one of the things that I like about it is you can you can slow down and let's go back and revisit some things that we need to work on that maybe maybe if if it's a game week or something like that you don't got time to do. So. We have time to, to kind of, you know, coach some young kids up. Number one, uh, go go revisit some fundamentals that maybe we hadn't we hadn't touched on. Maybe revisit some scheme or some basics of our offense and defense that we hadn't uh, touched on. We get a chance to really, really harp on special teams and, and rep those as much as we need to. And like I said, that was a that was a point of emphasis the other night. I think that was a, a part of the game that kind of failed us a little bit with some some bad punt snaps and bad extra point snaps and uh, kickoff coverage. So. Uh, we got a chance to work on some of that this week. So, in the middle of all that, I think I think that's the biggest thing is you get to go back and work on some fundamentals without having to work on an opponent per se. Yeah, when you look at honestly, probably one of the two touchdowns they scored was what the play after the open yeah. kickoff that yeah. they took back. I mean, you, know, you put them in opportunity where they're getting the ball on the foot 15, probably 15 yard line, and they score on the next play. So, that's right. Yeah. Um, you know, kind of staying on the same topic, uh, being on the off week. What does your practice schedule look like? I know you kind of talked about it just a second ago, but what, what does it look like? I mean, is there anything specifically, any adjustments that look any different from what your game schedule, a normal game schedule looks like? Um, and then as far as for you personally, what does that look like? Not having a game on Friday night, you know, I know with, with Huddle, you know, you have everything. So scouting is not the same as it used to be. You know, I know back in the day when your dad coached, my dad coached, you, you, you had an off week, you need to go watch somebody play. Now. We have everything on huddle, unless you just want to go see what the other team actually just looks like in person. Uh, but so for you, you know, you're going to go watch anybody play. You know, are you just going to enjoy the time, you know, with the family. You know, what what's your plans look like on Friday nights? Well, I'll talk personally for in a second, but like the uh, talking about the 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 we don't you know we we have like a little recipe we follow for for game weeks, and you know we'll start preparing a little bit for our next opponent toward the end of the week. But uh, Monday and Tuesday, Monday was a little shorter day. I thought, I thought we played a, a really physical game and an emotional game and four quarters early in the year. So I wanted them to kind of heal up a little bit this week. So Monday was a little, a little shorter. We, didn't, we just practiced in helmets on Monday and uh, reviewed a lot of things, reviewed some mistakes and, and uh, visited some kickoff coverage and, and punt and stuff like that. So we took care of that on Monday, Tuesday. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to Yesterday we we kind of uh, broke everything a little bit more parts as opposed to the whole. So we didn't do a lot of team team time and that sort of thing. We we, we did a lot of parts of stuff. You know, uh, 
and then uh, Wednesday and Thursday we'll get into a little more uh, of our opponent. You know, we, we do have a little bit of film, so we'll go ahead and start working on that and try to get some preparation done uh, to save some time for next week. But uh, personally, you know, I got a, a wife that works, uh, uh, you know, 12 hour shifts at the medical center in Macon, so, and, and a three year old daughter, and, and my wife's seven months pregnant. So, yep. uh, so I, I better go home and spend some time with them before everything gets That's hectic. And, move. Yeah. But, I, I, well, you know, I do have an NFHS subscription, so I, what I'll do is I'll probably bounce around to some games and watch a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one, or yep. I might pull, I might have some, you know, Two, two or three TVs set up in the living room. I'll have, I'll have one TV set up on one game, one TV set up on maybe have my computer set up on a third game. Take the Chromebook home, pull the yeah. iPad. Yeah, and I got, I got a three or four TVs that I don't even use, so I just yep. bring them in the living room and plug them up. Or I might, might have one out on the porch while, while I'm grilling out or something like that. So that's, that's the perfect way to do it. Uh, that's this way I enjoy doing it now because, and it, I do think there's merit to scouting still, oh, yeah. uh, yeah, just because yeah, you can yeah. see how they warm up, you can see. You can see body language. You can see, uh, you know, if you're behind their bench, you can see how they sub, you know, all that kind of stuff. So there is some merit to, to, to scout, and you can see how they warm up, what time they come out, you know, maybe their cadence or something like that. So, right. like I said, there is there is some merit, but, uh, I mean, where I'm at in my life right now, I just I need to be at home as much as possible So because uh, we're fixing to hit a stretch where we're not going to be home very much. So That's right. That's right. So, I'll tell you when baby number two comes, yeah. life uh, – Life gets turned on its head a little yeah. bit more than it already is. So, go have fun with it, though. Yeah. Well, uh, we're really looking forward uh, to kicking off the regular season uh, next week at home in the shoe against Rose High School. Uh, I'm Tyler Rogers. This is Coach Kip Burdett. Uh, we're signing off. Go Raiders. Southeast or West, Friendly Gus is on your way today. Fuel up with Friendly Gus's delicious breakfast made fresh every day. Your wallet and your belly will thank you. Choose from our 20, 40, and 60 piece chicken finger and wing platters. And don't forget the tater logs. Our food is always fresh and our service is always friendly. Friendly Gus, on your way today. Also shop Cochran Brothers Cash and Carry at 320 South Jefferson in Dublin for additional items like paper products, chicken wings, bulk drinks, spices, sauces, and more. You ready to meet the latest addition to the family? The money you saved us with auto owners helped make it all possible. It really is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Excuse me? Third best thing. Third best thing. Auto owners offers discounts for life, home, car, and business insurance because they think the more you protect, the more you should save. That's simple human sense. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin and Augusta if auto owners make sense for you. Orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Cooling is your licensed Amata equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amata, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amata dealer. Amata lasts and lasts and lasts.